at Westwood, a daycare workers behind bars accused of assaulting a toddler. Christian Hemmen is facing several charges of felonious assault, endangering children, and tampering with evidence. The prosecutor says that she violently assaulted the child. The defendant forcefully picked the victim up by the scalp, carried the victim across the room by its hair, threw the victim on the ground. Court records indicate that Hemet prevented the child's feet from touching the ground and then walked 10 feet while performing a push-pull motion with the toddler's hair clenched in her fist. The assistant prosecutor said Hemet then tried to cover up what she had done. Attempted to conceal the crime by disposing of the physical evidence, put the hair that was ripped out in a trash can. And Hemet wasn't done, according to prosecutor David Wood. Attempted to alter the physical appearance of the victim to conceal the injuries. The victim sustained serious enough injuries that required emergency hospital treatment. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again to hit y'all on the video. Hope y'all are having a very great day. Hope y'all are having a very great week also. My day is going absolutely incredible big shout out to all the channel members all subscribers of the trey king show family much love to each and every last one of you all and you all we have a story out of ohio by way of cincinnati and big shout out to everybody in the great state of ohio and everybody in the great city of cincinnati now this story right here is quite uh disturbing but it's not that bad but it's bad enough to make you want to whoop somebody you know what look at the bottom a s s yes it make you want to whoop somebody what we call buttocks now what this lady did she shouldn't be called a lady better yet she should be called a helper but some of y'all get mad sometimes when i call people a damn helper but i will say this right here look if the shoe fit you got to wear it and wear it good but i want to say this right here before i start the video now if you have children or grandchildren and they attend a daycare or even a school talk to your children especially if, you know, they're very young and they attend daycares and whatnot, because some of them are not able to speak for themselves. You know what I'm saying? Some of them are not able to express themselves yet. Some of them can't tell you if somebody is messing with them or not. You feel me? So, therefore, you have to ask. But one thing I will say is this right here. Sometimes what you all need to do, your parents and your grandparents and also your step-parents also, is just pop up at the damn daycare. Now, who in the hell hired Christian to work at this daycare? I do not know. But one thing I want to say before I start the story, when somebody first sent me this story, I said, what the hell is Brianna from Growing Up Hip Hop doing working at a damn daycare in Ohio, in Cincinnati of all places? I thought your ass was in LA or something. But come to find out, that wasn't Brianna. It just got a lot, a lot of um, freckles and whatnot. Now, true enough, I got freckles because some of you all might be saying, well, Trey, you got freckles too. Yes, I do. But I don't have that damn many. You know what I'm saying? Like a bird took a hot. Dump on your face, girl. Anyway, now the suspect in question that goes by the name of Christian Hemet, 27 years old, looking at her bit. I don't give a damn about them kids, Trey. The hell with what y'all saying. I want that child to look just like me. You don't see these patches of hair missing out my damn head? I want that child to look just like me, Trey. So the hell what you say, 47 in the face. Now, what Christian decided to do was the unthinkable, like she was Alicia Keys Part 2. Now, she allegedly got into it with this child. I don't know how the hell you get into it with a one-year-old. You know what I'm saying? Where do the argument start at? And also, where does the argument end? What can you really argue about? But some kind of way, her and a one-year-old got into it. In some kind of way, the 27-year-old won. You know what I'm saying? No pun intended. But it's what she did. She grabbed this little girl by her head, picked the little girl up by her hair, and basically ripped this child hair off the scalp and everything. Have this child going to the emergency room looking like a damn uh, spotted cheetah or something. Like somebody knock a patch of hair out of her head. But I want to say this right here. Look, if you're missing hair on the side of your head, you can't go around getting mad at girls and also grown women just because they got a head full of hair. You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't know what the hell happened to Christian hair. Maybe y'all can tell me. Because sometimes when I say something about women hair, you know, some people uh, take it the wrong damn way. I'm trying to find out what the hell going on just like some of you all. But anyway... We'll break more down as I'll tell this story. I'm going to read a quick snippet from this story. And I am going to give my opinion. All of it. Mm, mm, mm. Surely, as we go, woman accused of violently assaulting one-year-old at Cincinnati daycare. Now, what if that was your child? You go up there to pick your child up, but you get a call from the damn daycare. And they tell you that your child got the paws put on them. Or you see your child has got the paws put on him or her. How would you feel? You know what thing I'll be ready to do? I'll be ready to put the paws on somebody else's ass there. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you know, 
where was the owner of this daycare at? You know what I'm saying? Because Christian evidently, like something is very, very troubling, wrong with her. You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't know what's going on upstairs, but one thing I do know, ain't no excuse good enough to miss no damn children. It's like these daycares are hiring any and every damn body. You should know the moment Christian walked her ass in that building and you looked at the side of her head, that something was off and she shouldn't be working at no damn daycare. If anything, she ought to be working in a damn wig store or whatnot. Now, anyway, let's continue. A woman is facing charges that the police say she assaulted a what? Not a 10, not a 5, a 1-year-old child at a daycare facility in Cincinnati of all places. I said, oh, no. I know not Cincinnati. Not the great city of Cincinnati. They're not going to do anything like this. Anyway, and the incident was all caught on what? Yes, camera. Everything is being recorded, even my ass. Now, Court records say Christian Hemming. And I don't know how she got a name Christian because she is not Christian. That is not Christian-like. You know what I'm saying? It's like WWJD. What would Jesus do? Because some of y'all looking around WWJD, WW40, no. What would Jesus do? Since she's a Christian, what was a Christian thing to do? Is don't hurt the damn child. Why would you want to hurt a child? That's what I want to know. That couldn't be my child. You know what I'm saying? Even though I don't have no child. But I will say this. You all would have to come and bum me out of jail with my own money. I got my own money to bond out. You know how we talk when we uh, got bum money. What we say, I got bum money. Like that really means something. Anyway, Christian Hammett, 27 years old, looking every bit of 47 in the face, plus three. Grab the child by her hair. Now, have you ever had somebody grab you by your hair or grab you by your ass? You know what I'm saying? Have you ever had somebody reach out and touch you like that? Like they AT&T. Anyway, now, preventing the one-year-old's feet from touching the ground. That means she had this child yoked up. You know what I'm saying? You ever see somebody get yoked up? That means they just like this up in there, just, just shaking or whatnot. Anyway, and then walk 10 feet. Who the hell uh, measured the distance? That's what I want to know. It wouldn't matter if it was one centimeter. It wouldn't matter if it wasn't even uh, a half an inch. My thing is this right here. You do not supposed to put your hand on anybody's child. Because how would you feel if the mom or dad come up there, especially the mom come up there, because I don't promote men beating on women, but hey, cases like this, you know what I'm saying, a healthy need a good slap in the jaw. That's all I'm trying to say. You don't see somebody's jaw get slapped and go like this? That's what she needs right there. Now, anyway, they say she walked 10 feet while performing a push-pull motion with the tallest hair clinch in her fist. What the hell is a push-pull motion? She was basically doing this. Kind of misses that. I don't even, I mean, I do not understand. Somebody help me to understand what the hell is a push pull motion with a child hair in your damn hand. I don't understand that part. Anyway, now police wrote in court documents that the child hair was forcibly removed. I bet it was. Hell, look how big her hand is. She got them old fat Frankfurter hands. You know what I'm saying? And also, she suffered from multiple scalp injuries and needed post medical emergency treatment. Damn, that's a crying damn shame right there. You know what I'm saying? I don't have that much hair on my head, but one thing about it, I do thank God for all the little hair that my brother do got. And I'm sure some of you women right now watching that's lessing down in the hair area, some of y'all thanking God right now for that little patch. Go ahead and thank him right now. Anyway, now also adding to the story, other court records show him and told police that she disposed of the evidence in a trash can to avoid detection of crimes committed. But one thing you can't disposed of and one thing you cannot hide is the fact that you put your hand on this child and this child is missing hair out of her head just like you are missing hair off your head you know what i'm saying look at christian hair look at that head anybody can see that so you mean to tell me if this little girl is looking just like you in the head area for her hair being missing how the hell could you dispose of that you can't but this sad though you have some people in this world that want you looking just like them, like all the time I used to have my fights in school, well, all the time, you know what I'm saying, most time them jackals would try to sneak a brother, they never won't come at up, and then they always try to like aim and sneak you in the face and whatnot, like I don't want to be ugly like you, and not saying I'm all that, but guess what though, I look better than them, anyway, let's finish up before I get in trouble, now Hemet was charged with one count of felonious assault, you know somebody ever been charged with felonious assault, and also two counts of endangering children, and two counts of tampering with evidence, her initial bond was set over the weekend at 130000 after she was arrested on Saturday. But one thing I will say is this right here. She should also be arrested for aggravated stupidity, and she should also be arrested for that patch of hair missing out both sides of her damn head. How you have both sides of your damn hair missing? Usually, 
when women have hair missing outside the head, it's that whole area. They don't have a little line right there and then a little patch right there missing big as day. What the hell is really going on? But let me tell you this, Christian, because there's a good chance you might see this video. Look, don't DM me. Don't email me. Ask me to take the video down. Because guess what? You shouldn't be up here attacking children. I don't understand how people commit these crimes, make themselves like a fool. They got nerve. Won't come and ask Trey. Trey. <laughs> You know I like your show. You didn't have no being to air me out like that. Well, look here. Let me tell you all, and especially you, Christian, since you're on the docket today, you should have never touched this child because I guarantee you, if you would have did that to the wrong person's child, guess what? They would have put your ass in the hospital or sometimes up on the ground or basically knocked another patch of hair out your head, which, to me, you can't afford that. Anyway, you all let me know what you think about this story. And also, if there's anything I may have missed or misinformed, which is not my true intent, please let me know in the comment section or email me and we can talk about it more there. Anyway, if you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel and become a channel member. Also, share the video with your family and friends. Till next time, you all say blessed. Talk to your children, especially if they're young and they can't talk for themselves. Because one thing about it, the children needs to be protected. Like the late, great Whitney Houston once sang, I believe the children are our future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Anyway, you all let me know what you think about this story. I'll see you all soon on the next Tri King Show. And guess what? I'm out.